the day has come the completely redesigned overview which i kind of copied from gnome has landed in kri this also comes with a complete change in shortcut and gesture associated to it but not only that i'm happy to report that the floating panel has also received a big redesign and kd plasma has officially switched to over using it by default but not only that so i'm also happy to report that i'm working on a couple of major features which are very close to being ready a complete redesign of the panel settings and bidimensional touchpad and touchscreen gestures. If you don't know what those are, well, don't worry, we'll get to it. Let me immediately say though that this video isn't sponsored. I haven't done a sponsored video in like months, and yet this video, along with all other videos on my channel, was scripted over there, recorded with some quite expensive equipment, and edited. There's also an entire team that allows me to work on KDE whilst I do these videos, such as Fedding Geek, who has spent months helping me out editing the videos. All of this is sponsored through four platforms, PayPal, LibraPay, Ko-Fi and Patreon, and maybe a little bit of ad revenue from YouTube. But clearly the expenses are there, and you can see floating above my head the progress bar that covers the donations for this month. If you haven't already and you're in a position to do that, I would love if you could chip in something, links in the video description, to make sure I can actually keep this whole system up. But if you can't, which believe me, I fully understand, I still appreciate like likes, subscribe, you know the stuff, blah blah blah. So, Kitty Plasma. Let's start with the overview. It looks like this, which is, I think, gorgeous. I mean, I've done it. So as a quick recap, you can cycle between the overview and the grid mode directly within the effect itself. You can switch between desktops with one-to-one -one animations. You can drag and drop windows around. You can navigate the whole thing with the keyboards as well. It has everything. In the overview itself, there's a desktop list that's either on the top if you have a row of desktops or on the left if you have a column. Most of the work was already done during the KD Plasma Sprint in May, but sadly my life got busy and the code just went untouched for months, which means that when I resumed the work in August, I had one big pressing issue. All the work I had done was done on Plasma 5, whereas now everybody is working towards Plasma 6, which is very different. The first step of the work then was to rebase all the code on top of master, carefully checking for each feature whether something had changed that required some rewrites. And this took quite a while. Next up, on the very same day I started working on the overview, another Kitty Plasma developer, Alesh, changed how the code for the touchpad gestures work. It improved a lot the situation for the old, old overview, which you could open and then close. However, my overview has three states. You can start normal, then go into overview, and then go into grid view, and then back to normal. This kind of loop gesture wasn't really possible with that gesture API, so what I did is I created three different gesture managers, each for each um, transition, and then I just, you know, turn them on and off depending on the current state that I'm in. And believe me, it took quite some time to actually understand how to make the whole thing work. Words are easy, code ain't. Next up, we actually had to think about the best gestures and shortcuts for this overview. It's actually quite complex because you have uh, four different actions that you can take. You can loop clockwise, normal overview grid. You can loop counterclockwise, so normal grid overview or you can directly go in and out to the overview, or you can directly go in and out to the grid view. Which of these actions are worth a gesture or a shortcut? Well, after quite some discussion, this is what we decided. The shortcut to open the overview is meta W, as it was. The shortcut to open the grid view is meta G. The shortcut to loop clockwise is meta tab, so you can also 
uh, open the overview with MetaTab and the shortcut to loop counterclockwise. <coughs> and the shortcut to loop counterclockwise is Meta Shift Tab. Now, Meta Tab used to be a loop between activities, but we decided to change that to Meta A, which should be intuitive. As far as gestures go, we went with four fingers up is loop clockwise and four fingers down is loop counterclockwise. I'm pretty happy with all of this actually. So after all of this and some bug fixing, everything went well and the overview finally landed. Everything went well and the overview finally landed. This merge request fixes 13 different bugs, although probably it will also create some, which I don't know about yet. The feedback seems to be very positive with 12 thumbs up and 4 love emoticons just from kitty developers, so that's good. <laughs> Next up is the floating panel. This merge request 1 allows floating panels to actually have a shadow, which is great, and 2 it makes them defloat without getting any bigger, so there's no extra margin anymore. People asked for this a lot. Oh, and uh, 3 the dialogues are actually floating as well now, instead of being weirdly attached to the panel. Yet again, I had most of the code but all written for Plasma 5, not Plasma 6, so I just had rebase, which thankfully it was much easier. Uh, you also spent some time to fix all the remaining bugs in the merge request, except one, which wasn't much of a bug, but basically the defloat animation would be just a, bit, uh, a little bit laggy, so almost if it jumped up and down a bit, so I spent an insane amount of time trying to fix that, and I think the issue is that I constantly try to resize the panel window to be smaller, something I shouldn't be doing. So plan B. First, I do the animation for the panel, and then I actually resize the panel window, which have to have the same size as the panel itself. Issue, again, when I try to resize the window, I get all the stuff jumping around. I don't know why. Again, I spent quite some time to try to fix this and I asked for help to Kwin devs, but sadly no fix was found. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> to be clear, this was a big issue. It actually meant having to throw into the trash all the work I had done. I didn't want to, and yet I couldn't resize the panel window in any way, so I needed some out-of-the-box solution to resize the panel without actually resizing the panel. Luckily, I managed to find one. Hear me out. Instead of resizing the panel window to be smaller, I just decided to make it slide down so that part of the panel window would be outside the screen. This way I don't actually have to resize it, I just hide a little piece outside of the screen. So did that work? Well, there is a big, big, big issue. It's fine if part of the window is outside your screen because it will draw nowhere. But if you have a dual monitor setup and you have a panel between one screen and the next one, the panel would, yes, slide away from the main screen, but it all would also, you know, overflow into the second one. I don't have enough hands. <laughs> so yet again, I had to ask the Kwin developers for a solution and luckily they delivered. There is a function, I don't remember the name, so don't ask, that allows me to say, hey Kwin, please only draw a little part of my window, not all of it. By doing this, I can say, hey Kwin, please only draw the part of the window that's on the main monitor, don't let the panel overflow into the second one, even though I am moving the panel towards the second monitor, okay? And it kind of works, kind of, because I've seen some blur issues reported, but I can fix them. And now that all of these improvements to the floating panel have landed, Kitty Plasma is officially using them by default on master. That does not mean that they will stick around and also be used by default on the release day, but in theory, yeah, they should stick around. After all of these cool things that I've done and before getting to the cool things that 
still require some work to do, do let me remind you that uh, um, links in the video description. So redesign of the panel settings. So currently I don't really like the design of the panel settings. The first view is very horizontal and hides all the important stuff in the giant pop-up that's inside the more options button, which is as confusing as a label gets. So I've decided to throw all the option of the panel in a single view, each with its bold title and preview to make them easy peasy to find. So this is the design I've come up with. A floating dialog that's always near the panel you're editing. But it's not just a matter of proposing the setting in a different way. I wanted it to also make it much easier to do something that people constantly ask about which is have a dock. The difference between a panel and a dock, I guess, is that the panel fills the width, whereas the dock is just as wide as the content. And you can make it floating too if you want. Now, you can have a dock already if you just go ahead and use the margin thingies in edit mode, but most people apparently don't know how to use them, which is failure. <laughs> because of that, now the panel will not show the margin things at all by default. And instead, they will give you three size options. Fill with, fit content, and custom. First one is like a panel, second one is like a dock, and the third one will make the margin thingies appear again. Overall, I think this is pretty much better compared to what we had, and also much easier to use. You can change the setting and the previews will update dynamically to show what you're changing. And now we can actually fit more options inside of this dialog. So I will be adding a couple. First, I want to add back Windows Go Below, which we had to temporarily remove. And then I will also add Dodge Windows or Smart Hide. Similarly to other platforms, the panel will hide if a window touches it. I would also like to add some options to turn on uh, or off the floating dialogues, not panel, but we'll talk about that another time. That's not very important right now. Finally, I'm working on the bidimensional touchpad and touchscreen gestures. If you use KD Plasma gestures to, as an example, switch between a grid of virtual desktops, and you want to switch to the bottom right desktop, you know that you actually have to go right first and then bottom or bottom and then right because you cannot move diagonally or anything like that, even though you can using the shortcuts. The reason is that the gesture handler only supports tracking gestures in one direction at a time. So up, down, not two up, down, and left, right. I have a merge request that basically allows Kwin to do that. The first effect is that, yes, you should now be able to switch between desktops diagonally, which is great in itself, but you can also turn on the new overview like this vertically, whilst at the same time switching horizontally between desktops. The merge request isn't finished yet, so this is slightly buggy, I'll get to it, but this is actually straight up copied from GNOME yet again. You know what, I'm just porting the best features of GNOME over to KD Plasma. Sue me. So the technical issue uh, is that having a gesture in two directions might trigger at the same time two different effects. If it's three fingers, which is uh, like this, okay, <laughs> which is change virtual desktop uh, in both direction, it's fine. But if you have different effects on different directions like overview and change virtual desktop, they will uh, contradict each other. You can only have one desktop effect at a time. This means that we would have to do some sort of priority thing, which isn't ideal, obviously. Probably FX would have to opt in to this feature. They would say, hey, I do support p-dimensional gestures, so feel free how to actually do that. However, it's not that simple. I think that was everything though. I've talked about everything I've done and everything that I plan to finish off. There's also more coming in the future, but really I don't like long outros, so thanks everybody. Links in the third time I say that. Yeah.